Lovely, lovely, just tricked you there. Got a little signal. That's got to be reviewed, especially on the first draft. Try it. Good afternoon, people. Way, look. <laughs> How colourful. Both, both very colourful today. Are we both? Right? Look. Look. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> both got shirts with beer on them. Indeed. Anyway, it's a beer review. PJT, Rate My Beer, founder of Rate My Beer, if I may say. And we're going to Lithuania. Well, Indeed. with the beers, not literally. <laughs> I wish we were going literally. Um, it's Genny's Brewing, the one that we went to the festival. The, the before party, the after party, and we have one Guinness glass. So, I'm sorry, I'm, this fine, please. yeah, uh, Michelle's doing. I'll hold the can up a bit, but this is a milkshake out which we were fortunate enough to try this yeah. one in there on draft as well. It comes in at 3.5 percent, which for us two, you're thinking, blimey, you know, <laughs> but it's actually lovely from their seasonal range. And we're also doing an Italian style sour owl. Which is one of their collaborations with uh, independent craft brewers from Lithuania. Oh, yeah, it's four point five percent. It's limited edition, as it says on the back um, somewhere. Limited edition, but yeah, I don't know anything about this, so we're going into this one quite blind. We know all yeah, about that one. Yeah, we have actually tried this one. So well, you were drinking it. On I was drinking a lot of it. Night. It was. It was really. That was actually Michelle's go-to drink, yeah. and at 3.5%. You wouldn't believe it, would you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't either. So, right, let's get these poured. Okay. I'll do this one. Do that one. I'll grab a quick picture. I'll try not to do a classic. Oh, smoky, lovely. So this is what we're getting here. I, I did have a sour from G G Genies while we were there. What I sampled, which was actually, but it was a big hitter. It was an eight percenter. But it was top draw. We didn't actually get a bad beer, did we? No, indeed. From Gwen, it's definitely not. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Okay. Right. Oh, look, it looks lovely, doesn't it? <laughs> you can yeah. just see Michelle's one there, can't you? That's just like, it looks like a handsome drink. It is. Right, let's get this. Let's get this done. Let's get this one done. Right, hold on. I'll just turn that round a little bit. Turn that round a little bit. So I can see what they are. Oh, that looks good, you know. Oh, that's on video. What an idiot. Do excuse me, people. I'm old. The wife does, didn't you? <laughs> oh, you can come round here and do it now. She nicked my spot behind the bar because she thinks it makes you look like the boss. It's not that, it's actually because it's higher up here. Yeah, so it and I have to sit height. down. They look like a midget, so I stand up. Look, <laughs> I'll say no more. So I'll sit down on this uncomfortable seat so that she can stand there. And then she moans about me sitting down sometimes. Anyway, Back to the beer. yeah. As you can see, this is just amazing colour. It has a wonderful pink tinge to it and a lovely, lovely haziness. It, it really does look superb, doesn't it? Yeah, and the 3.5 percent, as I said before, the weight it's got for 3.5 percent is quite simply surreal. Is that how you hold it? Oh dear, uh, <laughs> nothing new. Yeah. So you see, there's a slight haziness in this sour yeah, as well. Yeah, isn't that it? is hazy. I say. Um, That's a lovely golden colour, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know anything about it, barring it's got orange peel and peaches. So we'll okay, should we, so we start one, with that one, this that one, one because? We're kind of in the know with that one anyway. Yeah. So we'll go on this one. This is a 4.5% oh, wow. ABV. It smells lovely. It smells gorgeous. That lovely ripe fruit of the peaches. I'm really picking up peaches in there. Oh, there. Yeah, that's good. That's nice. It 
it's not the kind of sour that's making you screw up your face, but there is a no. sour bite to there it. There is a sour bite to it, but it's like this lovely, like, like peach fruit lager. It is. It and really you, you've is. Got your lager, you've got your hops from your lager coming in. Yeah. And your peaches continue at fruit, then you're getting a slight sour here. Yeah, that, that is nice. Just in case. Just see that. Mm. Yeah, Unfiltered, unpasteurised. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so. Look, I still see the sediment in there. Okay. Mm. Oh, come, come to me, come to me. <laughs> We've got to score these as well today. Yeah, we? this is wonderful. The, the, the smell of the raspberries is really, really dominant on this. I've got to find my scorecard. Oh, what a wally. So, yeah, and this mm. is the one, as I say, this was actually your go to while we were yeah, there. I absolutely love this. Um, first of all, you've got a mild carbonation in there, it gives it off a lovely, creamy, full mouthfeel. Raspberries, wow, yeah. they are just in your mouth really lovely um natural tasting raspberry flavor in there no, it has got that, that mm. milkshake thing going through it which it, is it, it, it's not sweet no it's not like oh milkshake is going to be sweet and artificial it isn't i think it's more the sort of smoothness of it look at that, look at that. looks lovely it does it's it's, it's kind of it's a good looking drink, isn't it? It is. You don't talk about... It really is, and the taste matches the way it looks. It's wonderfully full of flavour. Um, when I looked at this, I really wanted to try it because it just looks so superb. 3.5, I'm thinking, it's not going to be good, it's going to be watery. But I had to try it just because it looks so nice. I started drinking it, and it was just like, wow, yeah. that is so full of flavour that it's not watery at all. He's got it. He's got it right. Yeah, he, we, this really is lovely. I mean, if you check back on the channel, we actually did an interview with the head brewer from Denny's, and he's really got it right, hasn't he? It's. I know that they use an extreme amount of raspberries. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like no thousands or anything. Yeah, in nothing there. like that at all. He, he did. It um, cost to tell me, didn't he? How much? Yeah. I, unfortunately, I forgot. But I know it was a lot, um, and it really comes through in the flavour. Do you know what? On the second taste of that, yeah, I'm getting more of a sour. So here it might be because the bottom bit went in there. It's much more deeper, the sour bit. That's that's a lovely, like I say, Italian style sour ale, something different, and that's bloody lovely. That is. And you are that getting the, the, the peach, and yeah, you are getting a bit of orange, orange peel. Yeah, I was going to say on on the second. It's zesty. Um, no, not zesty. It's... Yeah. <laughs> that's, I wouldn't listen to anything. No, no, it's trying to wind um, me up. For me, yeah, for the first taste, I was really getting the peaches. On the second taste, I was getting that thing of um, oranges, lemons, limes. There, there, there was yeah. that little zing to it as well, which was really nice. I don't think I've enjoyed. I still a, think that, that low in alcohol. A, yeah, yeah, a 3.5 ABV, quite like I've enjoyed this. Huh, I got gotcha. you. Honestly, say so I agree with that. That was the one that I. It's had. not by the side at the back. I don't know. You lost it behind there. So you lost it yesterday behind there. It, it isn't behind there. That's the whole problem. I don't know where it went. Oh, no. Never mind. You can you could do your ratings first, and I'll do yeah. mine after. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just have to go again on here because I'm a fair man. I already know. I can guess what you're gonna do. Yeah. This is what Michelle's gonna say. It's a nine and it's a double nine. Actually, I was going to give this a nine and that one a strong eight. Oh, okay. I was close. I'm going to go the other way round. This is a nine. <laughs> and this is a strong eight. They are both, honestly, um, this brewery, it's, it's like Hackney Church Brewing in England for us. It, it never lets us down. Yeah, they, they were very, very good. It was so lovely of them to take time to talk to us and explain the beers and, and what they're doing over there. Yeah, um, no, they are the biggest um, independent craft brewer in Lithuania. They have different places and yeah. we went to three of their places. Well, we went to two tap rooms and the brewery. And the brewery where obviously the, um, the festival was, wasn't it? And they were pouring, I mean, we had a stout, no word of a lie at the festival. Oh, yeah, the um, chocolate mint stout. With chocolate mint, and it was like, 
it was wow drinking after eight mints yeah it, it, was, it was absolutely no amazing it was it was really lovely chocolate and mint and yeah just like eating them after eight everything that we had from them at the brewery like everything we had in the tap room was absolutely to die for they are a fantastic brewery somehow hope to see them more in england than that but Obviously, with, with, with the Brexit thing and everything. It's hard for people to get stuff. In it's a lot harder, so it's one of them things. But who knows what's going to happen in the future. As I say, this is another cracker. Yeah, these are absolutely lovely beers. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Look, that bite, I love that bite. <laughs> the first time, as I said, ooh, as we both said, it didn't quite hit that note. Then it's hit a it, note. It, it has, If you yeah. go to Lithuania, you have to, you try, have to these. try these. It's a must. We're going back already next year. Yeah. That's already decided. It's already decided. So, what can I say? Rather than us doing you nothing anymore, we've done it for 10 minutes. Bonjour.